Like so many others swept up in the excitement and patriotism that the First World War from 1914 to 1918 brought on, young black Canadians were eager to serve king and country. At the time, however, the prejudiced attitudes of many of the people in the charge of the military enlistment made it very difficult for these men to join the Canadian Army. Despite the barriers, some black Canadians did manage to join up during the opening years of the war. Black Canadians wanted the chance to do their part on a larger scale, however, and pressured the government to do so. The number two construction battalion was created after several appeals and protests on top military officials. On the 11th of May 1916, the British War Office in London called the Governor General and expressed its willingness to accept a segregated unit. On July 5, 1916, a number two construction battalion was formed in Pictou, Nova Scotia, the first large black military unit in Canadian history. Recruitment took place across the country and more than 600 men were eventually accepted, most from Nova Scotia, with others coming from New Brunswick, Ontario, the West, and even some from the United States. Despite enthusiasm from hundreds of black men, there was still a great difficulty in recruiting the desired target of approximately 1,000 volunteers. This may be attributed to the rejection and humiliation black men experienced when previously turned away at recruiting stations. The objection to serving in a segregated non-combat labor battalion, and the exclusion of black immigrants, especially in Western Canada. The black battalion's chaplain was Reverend William White, who had also played a leading role getting the unit formed. He was given the rank of honorary captain, one of the few black commissioned officers to serve in the Canadian Army during war. After initial service in Canada, the battalion boarded the SS Southland bound to Liverpool, England in March 1917. Its members were sent to Eastern France later in 1917, where they served honorably for the Canadian Forestry Corps. As a construction unit, the battalion was tasked with non-combat support roles, which included building roads, railway tracks, and bridges, diffusing landmines to allow troops to move forward, removing the wounded from battlefield, and digging and building trenches. Some of Canada's finest military engineers. The number two construction battalion was officially disbanded on 15. Of September 1920. Their story represents a group of determined men who fought racism and discrimination at every turn for the basic right to serve one's country. Today, the dedicated service of the Black Battalion and other Black Canadians who fought in the First World War is remembered and celebrated as a cornerstone of the proud tradition of Black military service in our country.